Good morning. It is surgery day today, so I'm all ready. I did some pigtails since I'm not gonna be able to wash my hair for a couple of days and I'm gonna wear a chin strap. It's just gonna be all the way in the back wearing my outfit here. Just my zip up hoodie and bra under that I'm gonna get rid of as soon as I take it off, which I'm very excited. And just some socks and my cozy pants and they are gonna give me compression socks so i won't be wearing these right after but i'll be wearing everything else after so i'm really excited i um just brushed my teeth do need to take my mouthwash um and then take my tylenol and i'm all set so we're gonna head out in like 10 15 minutes so i'll see you i don't know if i'm gonna record today or and if i do i don't know how much i'll post since I'll be under anesthesia like heavy sedation so it might be crazy clips but if I don't let you know how today goes I'll try to record later today or tomorrow once I'm feeling a little better so let's do it I'm excited and yeah I don't know what else to say hey don't I look good <laughs> it's the next day it's Thursday it's around 8 a.m. I just finished breakfast, took my medication and brushed my teeth and used my mouthwash. So I'm good to go for now. Um, happy to say and to inform that surgery went well. Right now I'm speaking funny because A, my Invisalign, but also this chin strap is pretty tight. So it really pushes up my chin, but it is supposed to help with swelling which today I am feeling like my cheeks are gonna start to swell up a little bit more. Um, overall, just to say, yeah, my chest also, you can see I look so huge, but it's obviously very swollen. The implants are gonna drop, but I am wearing my um, surgical bra, so I have no idea how the incisions look. Um, but I'm not gonna probably show them on camera because I think it's a little yucky. But I can show maybe the scars, like once I start my scar treatment um, and to show you the progress. But we still have long ways to go for that. I have my follow-up appointment today at four, so later in the day. Um, but yeah, overall, it went really well. I obviously the anesthesia, I had to take like a lot of breaths when they were putting the face mask on me. Uh, I guess I was just like fighting it. <laughs> then I fell asleep, woke up, and I was done. So I didn't do anything, but the staff was really, really helpful, very informative and patient and very kind. So I felt um, like really taken care of. And um, the anesthesia did wear off pretty quickly like yesterday I didn't nap at all I was walking around I was watching TV and I think I just have like a stronger immunity to the uh, pain medication or maybe my dosage might be a little too low but I did notice that I'm supposed to take it every four hours but the like the pain definitely does come back before the four hours like it's not helping me all four hours so i'm going to bring that up to the doctor it's nothing unbearable but um like the, i do feel the pressure more when the medication starts to wear off um just like the face basically feel like i've never gotten punched in the face but i feel like that's how it feels like if someone really punched you in the face um so i just feel swollen there like right after Yesterday, I did feel like uncomfortable in the incision area and that's internal. So where my bottom teeth are, kind of that area that separates your teeth from your bottom lip. But I haven't really like gone in there to look because I don't really want to look and I also don't want to pull my lip if I don't have to. And yeah, that's pretty much it here. I am feeling very tender my bottom lip and like all this area feels like when you go to the dentist and they put um a needle like to numb the area it just feels like that like super tingly like when i touch it and yeah just numb 
but definitely on a scale of like one to ten i'm not over a five so that's good and then the chest area is obviously like a lot of pressure but i did sleep upright we ended up switching out that wedge pillow that i had just for like a stack of pillows because it was very hard and when i lied down i didn't really have um neck and head support so we just used like one of those like s like sitting upright pillows and just stacked it and since that was plushy it was much more comfortable um but i did get up a couple of times in the middle of the night to go to the restroom so i didn't sleep through the entire night but i feel good like i feel well rested and i did end up taking my medication like every four hours because i was up <laughs> at midnight and at 4 a.m and now 8 a.m so all good like i'm just gonna try to take my medication until i run out just given that i feel like it's not like hitting me as much as i thought it was going to like it's not even making me sleepy like at the pharmacy they warned me oh this makes you very sleepy but no like the fact that i didn't nap at all yesterday is very surprising to me but i don't feel tired and my whole body i feel good aside from obviously the two areas but i don't have a headache i don't feel cold or feverish i don't have stomach problems um i've been able to eat just fine so overall off to a good start so um, obviously running out of breath right now because of all the pressure here um but i'll catch up with you probably like after my appointment just to let you know how it went and yeah all good so wishing for a speedy recovery and we're getting there <laughs> hello it is friday night i'm basically getting ready to go to sleep but wanted to update you since i didn't check in after my appointment yesterday but it was really quick it was just like 10 minutes but um yeah he took my bra off and my strap on and i am very swollen from my chest and that's expected though it's pretty normal but he did say the actual procedure went well like there was minimal bleeding which suggests that like i should have a good recovery and also my chin everything was well i did take off my strap earlier today just to kind of wipe my face with a um wet wipe because i haven't washed my face and just to kind of see how it is and i am swollen here which like you could even tell with the strap on and yesterday i did see and here if i touch my chin it feels very numb and my bottom lip is still pretty tingly but um i kind of look like a little chipmunk like my face is swollen from right here from my cheeks but i did take a side like side profile picture and i could already see the results which me being swollen i'm like whoa i'm so excited for when my face actually swells down um but overall how i feel i feel good the only thing i'm battling with right now is constipation i haven't been able to poop these last two days so i'm hoping that tomorrow i could poop because i don't want to have to take like more medication to deal with that i did add a fiber to my smoothie so hopefully that's also helping and i've just been trying to rub my belly but you can't even see like yeah my belly is so big right now because it just a nice big old build up of food but my face feels good i just brushed my teeth and used the mouthwash i've been brushing my teeth but just not using like my actual electric toothbrush just manually um brushing them because i think it would be too much um my chest does feel very stretched out and how kind of how he described it it's like if you pull the skin of your forearm like really tight imagine that but on your chest and i have to do heavy breathing like that and obviously that expands your chest so it feels strange but yesterday was uncomfortable before going to sleep my chest felt really really tight and also just like my muscle felt like i wanted to cramp a little but today i felt much better with that so yeah really just getting used to the tightness and the pressure on my chest my face feels good like today i didn't really have problems with it just obviously it's swollen and it's still numb so i can't like smile fully or talk completely normal but that should be expected so 
we're looking forward to getting through another night and i do think it's just gonna get easier as we go so i'll see you tomorrow with another truck gun hello it is saturday night i finally took some laxatives and was able to use the restroom but it was the most painful <laughs> poop i've ever had and that's tmi but being as honest as I can about my recovery but because of that I was like I need to shower so I just showered I didn't wash my hair but that's why I'm not wearing my chin strap but before I put it back on I wanted to just show you kind of what my face looks like you can see very swollen from like right here and right under here is where they put the light bulb needle and then they remove this cyst so that's why I have these two incisions right here so I didn't want to scrub so I still have sharpie marks but I just don't want to get too close to them and the actual chin implant incision is internal and that's healing like pretty well and yeah this is what my face looks like it looks very swollen and like even smiling feels really uncomfortable all this like I have no sensation it's like when you go to the dentist and they numb you up and that's what I feel like my belly bloatness is going down I'm still very bloated but I'm glad I finally was able to go to use the restroom because I seriously, like my stomach looked as large as my boobs at this point. And yeah, I just took this off too. It was a very bad shower, but at least I tried to get into my armpits, my privates, my feet, you know, like a quick shower. Um, but this is what I'm looking like so far. So I'm just going to put on some face lotion finally because I haven't been able to do anything. So I'm breaking out a lot. But I'm glad I was able to wash my face a little bit, even if it meant just like my cheeks and my forehead. Um, but I'm gonna brush my teeth, do my mouthwash, put my strap back on, put on deodorant, and probably get ready for bed now. So feeling good. I haven't had to take pain meds since this morning, so I didn't take my noon ones nor my 4 p.m. ones. Don't think I'm gonna take my 8 p.m. ones. I don't feel like I need to. So if I don't need to, I'm going to try to not take them just because that also is like, that is what causes the constipation. And that was seriously terrible. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through that again. So I'm going to take my laxatives again tomorrow just to keep the bowel movements going. But other than that, good so far. So check in tomorrow. Hello, it is Sunday afternoon. I didn't take any pain meds today didn't feel like I needed to and I feel good. Last night I did take Tylenol instead of my pain meds and I was able to use the restroom again this morning which I'm very happy so the laxatives are working. That was honestly like the biggest hump to get through so now that that's done just really the swelling to go down in terms of my face and just that the stitches should fall on their own and yeah I just need to wear this for two weeks so just kind of dealing with that with my chest my skin obviously feels very very stretched and like really tight and if I breathe really deep it still feels uncomfortable just my chest feels like there's a lot of pressure but all of that is normal so everything is going good so far just kind of here just resting like literally there's nothing else I could do instead of just relax recover try not to strain myself too much and let the body do the healing on its own so yeah pretty much the update for today hello it is wednesday morning meaning it is one week post-op so i feel good i have my one week post-op appointment today where they're gonna look at my stitches and just overall see my progress so that's later on today i haven't been taking the pain meds that they prescribed me for four days now like since saturday so i feel good like two three days ago i took tylenol but if i feel pain like that's all that i've been taking and today is my last day on the antibiotics so i'm glad to like be moving away from the pain meds because it's like i have to remind myself to like take them and everything so i'm glad i'm moving away from that in terms of pain and all that literally like these last couple of days it's just been my skin like my on my chest obviously is being expanded a lot so just dealing with that just a lot of pressure here on the chest 
but it's bearable it's fine and then with my face my lips are still very numb my chin is basically it feels really asleep like all this so i'm hoping that goes away in a couple of weeks because it is a weird feeling I want to be able to eat normal again <laughs> and my face swelling has gone down yesterday i was able to fully take a shower and wash my hair by myself which that means i do have a lot of arm mobility which is great because that also is difficult to deal with but wasn't obviously like the best shower ever but i am glad i was able to like get in here and do everything so when i remove my chin strap my face does look less swollen than it was i do still like have um some pain here where the neck light bulb was which makes sense like if you're going all in there uh so it is a little tender here but i can't wait to look snatched right there i quickly took off my chin strap to be able to redo my braids just like massage my head a little bit and wash my face because honestly at the point that i'm already feeling like irritated of wearing it and just i um, can't wait but one more week but today it is thursday meaning that um yesterday i had my appointment my one week appointments were eight days out so i'm gonna wrap up the video here yesterday the appointment went well they did take off my um like the little sticker that goes over so it's not as but it looks dark because that's just a sharpie so that's not what it actually looks like um you could probably see the little scar and over here i still have like sharpie so can't like fully get the results of what my scars are gonna look like right here um but they said everything looks good so far so just really moving along the chest pressure is like getting less and less each day but it's still obviously there my chin strap is so dirty because of all the sharpie that like just transferred over and i have so much toothpaste so it's like all blue and purple because of that but basically that's really the update for this week but hopefully you enjoyed going through recovery with me for my first week i still can't like fully move my lips so maybe you like noticed that already i'm feeling a little weird i can't like smile completely but shortly like i know everything like with time will i'll be feeling good and then the fun happens where i'll start buying new clothes and do like little clothing hauls whatever it might be the fun stuff so once we get through it but thank you for watching this video and for the support um through recovery and i'll see you on the next one